Well, Ariel, those governors, including Governor Sununu, spent their afternoon backing Texas Governor Greg, Greg Abbott and his continued push for the self-defense of his state and its people from asylum seekers crossing the border. Half of the governors of the United States have joined with Texas in our cause to make sure states can do everything possible to secure our border. More than a dozen GOP governors standing united behind the state of Texas on Sunday as Governor Greg Abbott reasserted what he calls his state's constitutional right to protect itself from drugs and from people coming into the U.S. illegally. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu joining the group at Eagle Pass. He tells News 9 the Biden administration's southern border policies aren't enough to keep illegal border crossings down. We've been asking as governors for assistance from the federal government. They refuse to follow their own law. Laws. And so all Texas is really doing is um, taking action consistent with the laws of the United States and, and having some success with it. Governor Sununu calling security at the southern border a 50 state issue, something impacting all Americans. If you look at just the poll numbers that came out of uh, following the first in the nation primary just a week ago, it is the number one issue that people are looking at in the Granite State. I think it, it is one of the top issues in the country right now. It's one of the top issues that affects our national security. And even with a new Senate deal unveiled, proposing more than $20 billion for new border policies, Governor Abbott made one message clear today. Joe Biden does not need more legislative authority. He just needs a backbone to step up and do his job and secure the border. And Governor Sununu also says he was glad to put his support behind Governor Abbott today to hopefully bring awareness to what he called the critical issue of border security. In the newsroom, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.